Some of our top weather concerns for today include some activity in the tropics, plus a major storm system on the way for the northeast. We begin uh, down toward Florida with what is now Tropical Storm Philippe. The system is highly disorganized, though. It's going to continue to lift tropical moisture northward into the Atlantic in the coming days. It's likely that it will lose that status, though, as it uh, becomes a post-tropical cyclone, continuing to lose its intensity. But nonetheless, we'll, we, we will see quite a bit of wet weather lift northward to the mid-Atlantic region and toward the northeast. That combines with a cold front that's going to be pushing into the northeast, which will result in a tremendous amount of rain, some flooding concerns, and some extremely high winds, which will begin today, ramp up tonight, and come to an end as we head into Monday. So this system will then lift to the north of the area uh, as we head toward Monday. So as we look at the peak wind gusts, which would likely be occurring late Sunday, they certainly are impressive. Boston, potential of a 60 mile per hour wind gust there. Gusty conditions expected in New York City with uh, those reaching the 50 mile per hour range. We'll start to see those subside as this low lifts north of the area heading into the day on Monday. But we have a very windy night ahead. And of course, these types of strong wind gusts can lead to uh, down power lines, down trees and things of that nature. Uh, the Weather Service has a number of flood watches already in effect for this area. Flash flooding, certainly a possibility. We're looking at the potential of widespread rainfall totals in the two to five inch range, over three inches possible in New York City, uh, and get into the, some of these orange and red shaded areas, and that's where we could see uh, even closer to five to six inches. So a lot of rain and high wind coming in a short period of time beginning tonight and uh, coming to an end heading into Monday. Continue to check back here for your latest severe weather updates.